My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, 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 yo. Just getting back from watching Spider-Man Far From Home. <laughs> I'm even gonna start. <laughs> Let me be serious. I was already about to go full blown troll mode. No, but I'm I'm just getting back uh, from watching uh, Spider Man Far From Home. Um, I, you know what's weird? As much as 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 huge of a Spider Man fan as I am, this is probably the first time I was like not at all hyped for a new Spider Man movie. And actually, now after seeing this movie, I think it was for the best. Let's get into it, man. It's f uh, Spider Man Far uh, Far From Home. My uh, thoughts on the movie. This actually will be a spoilers. I I, I will be talking about spoilers. So you, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, might want to click off now. Normally, when I do reviews, you know, I try to keep it spoiler free, but I just don't care no more. <laughs> you know, I, I like I I I really feel like. I want to like, you know, really dive deep into what this movie, you know, was for me. So I will be talking about uh, spoilers. So if you haven't seen Far From Home, might want to click off now. Maybe come back later once you see the movie. But yes, we will be diving deep into those spoilers. So Spider-Man Far From Home, here's my thoughts of it. All right, so first off, um, hold up. Let me bring up the notes. Let me bring up the notes. Uh... Okay, so first off, you know, this is, like, the first big Marvel... This this, this is, like, you know, us entering the next phase, you know, of, you know, Marvel. And, like, what they're going to be doing, you know, after the whole, you know, Avengers Endgame thing went down, you know. So, this is, like, them entering that next phase, you know, of, in, you know, of the MCU. One thing that I did not want from this movie was for this to be a whole thing on Tom Holland or Peter Parker, whatever, and the rest of the world mourning Tony Stark's death. That's one thing I did not want from this movie. Listen, we all know that Tony Stark was, you know, was a great man. He saved the freaking, <laughs> I'm freaking talk about this man like he's like actually a real character. He is to me, okay? <laughs> no, but Robert Downey Jr., just in case you don't know, is still is still alive. You can actually see this man walking outside in the streets of, I don't know where this sucker lives, L.A. somewhere, <laughs> you know? But, go, again, going back to Endgame, you know, the death of Iron Man and stuff. If you ain't seen Endgame yet, then, sucker, I don't even know why, I, why, you, know why, you're, why you know why you're watching this movie. I, and I think that's one thing I, I don't like about this MCU Spider-Man. He's too connected to Tony Stark. I get he's younger. You know, he's like, what, I think 16 at this point. He's younger. But literally, when I look at Spider-Man today, he's he's like Tony Stark's little freaking adopted pupil. <laughs> you know, it's just like everything he's everything he does is so Tony Stark influenced, you know, and that's like my that that that's one of my issues that I have with this new Spider-Man is like he doesn't really have his own identity yet and again he's young and stuff like that but you know seeing all these different takes on Spider-Man which was the goat still to this very day it's like if you don't think it's Toe if you don't think it's Toby uh Maguire this is a free country it's not rent free country leave me alone give me rent you'll get your rent when you fix this damn door Seeing Toby Maguire's take and then Andrew Gar, I don't even think Andrew Garfield did a bad job necessarily, you know, necessarily with Spider Man. I thought it was more so the script than Andrew Garfield. I don't think he was trash as Spider Man. I just thought his movies was trash, you know, but I don't blame necessarily him. But, you know, seeing, you know, those Spider Mans and then seeing this one, it's like this one to me still feels like he never really had his own identity because. Everything he did was so Tony Stark influenced. His, his freaking suit is like a bootleg Iron Man suit because it's so teched out. I'm like, what? When does Spider Man need a freaking teched out suit like this? Like, 
This uh, this nigga don't need tech to fight crime. The world needs Iron Man or not Spider Man or like something like that. And then and then uh, Nick Fury was like, "Bitch, you fought in space." <laughs> something like that, you know? Like you know, stop talking about Iron Man all the time. You're Spider Man. I'm like, thank you. Like stop talking about. I get it. Like he looked up to him. He you know he he was like a father figure to you know this current Spider Man. But you have he has to detach him. He has to detach him himself away from Iron Man so that's one thing I didn't really want from this movie and you know they you know acknowledge the fact that you know Tony Stark is now dead and stuff like that but I didn't feel like they overdid it though okay the whole school trip slash vacation thing that's you know going on in this movie because 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 like that's like the whole you know you know thing about this movie like you know because they're still in school, which is one thing I did not like about home. Just going, I'm so all over the place. Homecoming is one of the most overrated Spider-Man movies. Of when Suck I remember when Homecoming came out and Suckers was like, this is the best Spider-Man movie ever. I was like, am I missing something? <laughs> I, was, I was like, there is no way in hell... How is Homecoming better than even Spider-Man 1? I'm not even getting the two. I don't even think Homecoming was better than The Amazing Spider. But I'm talking I'm I'm talking I'm talking about one though, not two. <laughs> I thought Homecoming a lot of people overrated that junk. That Homecoming to me felt like the Weenie Hut Juniors you know, of Spider-Man, <laughs> you know of spy of Spider-Man movies like the ones with Toby was like the salty spittoon and like homecoming legit felt like the weenie hut juniors of spider-man and, I, and, I, and i'm like am i wrong for not really I, I now don't get me wrong i didn't think homecoming i didn't think homecoming was a trash movie at all but i i thought the best part of homecoming was michael keaton as vulture like he stood out the most to me homecoming as a whole though as a spider-man movie they had iron man in that junk and he like pretty much saved spider-man you know like on multiple occasions it, like i just thought people overrated the freak out of homecoming you know so saying that the whole relationship with him and mj you know um i i i, I guess this is i guess this is a fresh take on mj you know because this they're they are both so awkward <laughs> they're like they they're literally perfect for each other it's like but it, it, it doesn't feel cringy to me because one thing I'm not completely just a freaking Tobey Maguire stan like everything in those movies was just God no it wasn't like that relationship that you know they had in those movies with you know Spider Man and then the cur and then the Kirsten Dunst Mary Jane Watson I never was really into that relationship like that it just kind of felt like. Mary Jane was annoying in those movies. <laughs> like, most of the time, this chick was screaming and stuff like that. I think she had, like, one good line in, like, those three movies that they had with Toby. And that was, like, at the end of Spider-Man 2. And she was like, go get him, Tiger. <laughs> the Spider-Man swings off. That was literally the only time I was like, Woo! <laughs> for their, like, relationship. I never really liked their relationship i actually for some reason kind of enjoyed the relationship with tom holland spider-man and zendaya's mary jane you know this this new take on you know uh mary jane because they're both so awkward but it's not to the point to where it's like cringy it's like a cute awkwardness if that makes sense <laughs> you know so i i you know this this whole romance that they got going on i actually kind of enjoy it more than i enjoyed the one with toe you know with toby mcguire spider-man and kirsten dunch you know so you know i'm 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 going to be fair here they're like playing on they're like the whole thing that you know spider-man is dealing with in this movie is yes like Going back to that great uh, quote by the great Uncle Ben in the first Spider-Man movie ever, with great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man is dealing with, you know, having this immense responsibility of being like a superhero and, you know, trying to, um, you know, uh, you know, save the world. But at the same time, 
he's like what 16 and and you know in this movie like i said so he still like wants to be a kid he wants to have that normal life so he's trying to find that balance so you know i actually enjoyed him trying to like kind of deal with you know trying to you know still be a kid but at the same time still be your friendly neighbor you know still be your friendly neighborhood spider-man you know nick fury you know was good in uh this movie um i'm trying to hit on everything uh i want to but yeah i mean i because again i thought with the whole school trip and the vacation i thought this was going to take another homecoming route because one thing i again going back to homecoming one thing i did not like about homecoming is how it literally just it, it just felt too kitty to me it felt too kitty they had a home come and dance it it, 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 it it literally just felt like middle school spider-man and i'm like this is the best spider-man movie ever to you people like really <laughs> i just never got the love that homecoming got i didn't think it was trash i just never really got got the love and then into the spot and then spider-man into the spider-verse came out and said this is how you do a spider-man movie <laughs> Because Homecoming to me is nowhere near as good. It's is into the uh, Spider Verse, but um, so I I I did not want Far From Home to take that Homecoming route with, with just focusing too much on like on the school dynamic, and I felt like they had a great balance in in this movie. For fortunately, they did not take that route, and it went in a better direction than I thought Homecoming did. Going to um. Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio. I, from the trailers, and again, like, I never, I mean, I, I used to read some of the Spider-Man comics, but a lot of the way that I got introduced to a lot of the villains in Spider, you know, in Spider-Man from Scorpion to Rhino to Hammerhead to the Great Venom to Carnage to Doc Ock to freaking Green Goblin. I mean, all, to freaking Sandman, all these, like, uh, all those villains I got introduced to them from playing the Spider-Man games. The ones on PlayStation 1, stuff like that. Like, I played those... I played those Spider-Man games so many goddamn times, bro. Spider-Man 1, Spy, uh, Spider-Man 2, Enter Electro, then 3, then going to the movie. Like, that's really... That's how I had... That's how I got most of my knowledge about Spider-Man. I read a few of the comics growing up, but not really. Mysterio, I think, what what game was he in? Was he in? He was in Spider-Man 1, I think. The very first Spider-Man 1 game that was on PlayStation 1 and N64. I think he was. I don't think it was 2. I just remember, though, Mysterio in that game, I liked him as a villain because, you know, he was he, he was so unique with his powers and stuff like that and i remember um you know when they were showing the uh trailers and like previews with uh jake gyllenhaal in this movie i was like <laughs> he, he, I, even when he got casted as mysterio i was like i mean i guess i never really seen mysterio outside of his fish uh bowl so maybe he can just like stay in that suit for like the whole movie and i won't know it's jake gyllenhaal jake gyllenhaal's and take on mysterio was actually really good in this movie um uh, and again i uh, because i felt like the trailers d did a great job of not really spoiling everything that happened in the movie and i kind of always knew like in a way mysterio would like be uh, the villain because you know just going off of what i know from him like he has to somehow become the villain right in this movie but the trailers was made you know was making it seem like he was like the good guy and stuff like that and like him and spy and him and spider man was going to be working together the twist that happens in this movie to where you know uh uh mysterio is using this illusion tech that apparently he and tony that he and tony stark um worked on together because they like have flashbacks you know to when like i guess him and tony to where him and tony to where him and tony was working on this tech and then like tony like changed the name of it to barf or something like that i was like what <laughs> you know but so it like has flashbacks to when 
Tone to when Tone to when Tony was still alive working on this tech and stuff like that. And then and, and then uh it, it then had a flashback to Iron Man One to where one of my favorite lines in in that movie, Tony Stark built this in the cave with a box of scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the guy that uh you know uh he was talking the guy that he was talking to and you know and then when the guy says well i'm sorry i'm not tony stark that guy he's in this movie and is like so like all of like the ex-employees of tony stark or something like that are like coming back together and like he's dead now we need to come back you know so it was, it was kind of like that then you find out mysterio is using this illusion tech hologram tech you know uh device thing that he's uh using that like projects these creatures as looking real and stuff like that and i was like oh snap okay because that was again that 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 would be something that i would see mysterio doing so it made sense so once you find that twist out that he's like you know uh actually fake and he's like you know he like made up this whole freaking thing and these things are not real but they look real fast forward last fight you will well just the whole fight with spot with spider-man versus mysterio my god those the fight that like last fight just the whole fight with mysterio versus spider-man and the way he's using the illusion tech i'm like bro this is mystic like this would be something that you that that you would expect from mysterio like just the illusions that he was using on spot i'm like how is he gonna overcome this and they're like making jokes about the spidey uh what did they freaking call it in uh, this movie? Because it wasn't spy. Because it wasn't spy descents. It was like spider pingling or something. <laughs> it was something like my spiderling or something. It was like what the freak is that? Your wiener? <laughs> what are you talking about? You know. But I'm like, yes, yeah, like so good. You have spider sense, <laughs> freaking like again. Going back to Spider Man, don't need all this tech. What the hell? What does he need tech suits for? Your suit. You have superhuman strength. You have spider sense. You can see what's hap what's hap what's about to happen, you know, or, or you know, or or at least be warned of what's about to happen before it happens. Use your freaking powers that I thought you had, you know. So, um, but the the illusion fights with Mysterio was some of the best. Like when it was actually going on on screen, I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe they nailed Mysterio this good because the illusions that he was using just the scenes with it how like it will go into darkness and then it's just spider-man on screen and you hear and you hear like mysterio and you hear mysterio's voice like talk you know like talking to him and spy and like and like spy and 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 spider-man is like trying to find out what's real and what's i thought the way they did that the cgi with the illusion tech stuff that mysterio was doing i was like yo i was i i was so surprised by how they by how greatly they pulled off mysterio in this movie i was thoroughly impressed by that that was like i actually enjoyed mysterio i actually enjoyed mysterio um more than vulture and homecoming i thought what they did with mysterio it was literally like on some doctor strange type stuff like i'm like this suck is like the new doctor strange <laughs> he, he was like he was killing it i liked him first off i liked tom i am getting way i, I literally need breath Mike, yeah, when is the last time I've been this worked up for a Spider-Man movie? Are they actually on like the right track finally? The end credits, the first end credit. My God, seeing freaking, I don't even remember, remember the actor's name, but seeing the old school traditional J. Jonah Jameson that they had in the Tobey Maguire movies, you heard rumors that he was going to be in the, well, well, like you, well, you actually saw like screenshots that he might be in, in, in this movie, but I actually forgot about them. So when the first end credit scene shows up, and he pops in, I'm like, bro, <laughs> like he, he, he is so much J. Jonah, like he, he literally is J. Jonah J. J. Uh, Jameson. And when you seen that, what I kind, I kind of felt like Spider-Man right now is what, 16? 
And this is like J. Jonah James. And this is J. Jonah Jameson's like first start on like hating Spider Man for his entire career. <laughs> like, like I like look at J. Jonah James. <laughs> I look at J. Jonah Jameson as like Skip Bayless right at the start of LeBron's career, but instead it's for Spider Man. <laughs> He's gonna be hating on Spider Man for for years to come, you know. If you know, if he plans on being in you know the future, you know, uh, film. So I love that. But the whole, uh, the main thing that went down in that first um in credits was you see Mysterio die and stuff like that. But then in that in credit scene, like he's still alive, and I don't know if it was before like the bridge that he was on exploded. Like he he sent out one last message and the way he made it uh appear and before he uh died, he uh was like, you know, people will believe whatever I want them to believe or something like that. And I thought that and I thought that was like such a great way for him to like go out because like his whole thing is illusions, you know. So he, you know, so he was like people believe what, you know, uh pe uh, people will believe what they want to believe and then like you see him die but then like you see him send out this last message in like this tape recorded vid and like he's and the way he makes it appear is like spider-man was the one that made all of the drones come out and he's trying to use the drones to 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 uh to a uh, you know ex you know to execute people and stuff like that and i was like yo so it kind of makes him appear as like the uh, villain and like he tells the world who he is his name he puts p he puts peter parker and his face like on the freaking screen and then you just see spider-man like ah! <laughs> and then it like and then it stops i was like yo i don't i don't know what the next spider-man movie is going to be but I like the way that joke ended. I I thought this was like it still had home coming vibes, but at the same time, like you're starting to slowly see Spider Man come into his own, and he's like he's fine. He's finally starting to find his own identity. He's not talking about Tony freaking Stark every five minutes. I guess he can't now because he's dead. But <laughs> but you know but. He's starting to come into his own. And that's what I always wanted to see from Tom Holland playing the new Spider-Man. So, I actually enjoyed this movie, man. Um, I enjoy Far, uh, Far From Home. I would probably give Far From Home... Um, I ain't free, sucker. Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably give Far From Home either... Either an eight point five or nine. Um, I think both will will go well. Uh, you know, I I could be cool with eight point five, but I but I really enjoy this movie at the same time that I could give it a nine. So somewhere between like eight uh eight point five or nine. What did you guys think of, of, of Spider Man Far From Home? Did uh you like it? Did did uh you think it was okay? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. What was your favorite part about the movie? Where do you rank the Spider Man movies? All that stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoy uh my review of Spider Man Far From Home. I definitely would recommend you see it if you've been thinking about seeing it. If you are a Spider Man fan. I actually think you might enjoy this one. I really do. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, fam.